Alright guys, so I got the EG behind me and basically what I've been doing for the past two days is I've been stripping this thing down. The reason I'm stripping it down is because we got a lot of stuff to replace and why wait to start stripping it down till we get the new parts? Why not just strip it down now and then when we get the new parts we can just slap them right on there. So basically what I've taken apart is I've taken off the fender flares all the way around, the front driver's side fender, the front brake assembly, and the suspension components. Now, I've only really been working in that area right there because over in that section, it's very, very tight. I think Austin's gonna join us a little bit later tonight and then we're gonna work on taking more of the stuff off like the axles and basically anything else we're gonna need to replace. So, Austin just got here and uh, right now we're gonna be taking out the fuel pump because we have talked to the previous owner of this car and he said it's got a huge fuel pump because this thing was originally gonna be boosted. It was boosted. That, okay, so it was boosted at one point and it had a huge fuel pump to make hey, up for the pressure. So now, basically we just gotta replace it with a stock fuel pump. How many bolts is it? Like three bolts and then there's, I've never seen one of these before but I guess it has a banjo bolt. Oh, banjo bolt? Like the banjo string? Not quite. Oh, darn. Can you shine the lights over here? Oh, of course, doctor. Of course, the eight is missing. Wait, unless this is a note. Okay. Well, just um, find the size that fits, dude. I need an eight millimeter. Well, there could be an eight millimeter in there just out of place, you know? You never know, buddy. Wait, maybe you're right. Oh. Maybe it's not even an eight millimeter. Oh, buddy. That boy coming in clutch. Ooh. Ah, pull me. Not that. Hold on. So the fuel pump's out. It took some finagling by your boy. But like you know, AM, baby. it's a nice AEM. I think he said it was a 550. I don't know no, what that uh, number uh, means. 305. Oh, 305. Yeah, I don't know what that number LPH means. LPH liters per hour. LPH. That's how much this thing's hour. pumping gas, and that's too much gas. Too much gas. That's why. That's why it's hard to start because it's runs basically rich too rich. It's basically flooded all the time. Yeah. So, so we gotta get a nice 190 LPH fuel pump. Just slap it in there, but we might be getting a 255 because he said that'd be okay. But still might start a little hard, but you know, might just go with the AutoZone special and just put a 190 in there. I mean, just just to get this thing on the road, dude. But guys, 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 guys. Oh boy. Organization is This key. is organization, dude. At Rod Shaban. Buddy, but buddy doesn't know how to be organized. You know, this fuel pump took us what a half hour? How many days did it take to get rods out? Because he doesn't have dude, that's why Honda is so generous, <laughs> dude. They, they Look at this generosity. And fucking Ford just can't do anything for you. <laughs> fucking Ford. Ford owns Mazda, if you, if you guys don't understand that. FOMO co baby! I, I, just, I really just want to drive this thing, dude. I, I, re I want to know what it revs out to. I was, I was so tempted because earlier today, when you guys saw me working on it, I started the car and I had it running real nice and I really just wanted to rev it just all the way and I'm like, I can't do it. I gotta wait. We're making some progress on this thing, you know? That's why I, I told the viewers today, right? I told them in the beginning of the video that it's better to start taking shit apart now even though that we don't have the parts to put back in it because like say we say we go and get this fuel pump right this fuel pumps already out so we just got to slap it back yep. in you know and you know the the whole suspension components that's going to be already taken out so then when we get the new parts I mean, slap them right in replacing it anyways so i mean like literally there's no i mean that's why we're taking so much crap apart is because things that we're all, we're basically taking as much stuff that needs to be replaced as possible I mean, that, like I said in the beginning, this this is gonna be a toughie to get on this side. But I mean, we're gonna we're gonna have to make do with what we got. So this side axle's out. This whole side's out. This whole this whole side's pretty much out. I Let's mean, get this thing off. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get this fender liner off because we don't really need it. I mean, Let's unless get you, off. you know, just gotta. Oh yeah, yep. we don't need that anymore. I mean, we're just gonna have to make sure we prep this thing. So that, you know, this is all bare metal. We don't want this to rust, so. I mean, it's already got some of it. It's already got some of it, but I know, like, since someone's going to be driving in the winter. Are we going to you know, keep those upper control arms, or are we getting adjustable ones? I mean, we don't need it. We don't need it immediately, you know? Like, we could keep stock camber for now. We, it's not necessary, so. so. in the next week, probably within the next week, new fuel pump will be in. Mm-hmm. This thing will be running solidly, hopefully. So, fuel pump, tune up. And then basically we're just gonna start putting the brakes together, the axles together, and then see what mm. basically be driving. Oh, yeah, the suspension's fine. I mean, like, cause that's why I wanted to pull all this apart. So the suspension's fine. Um, I was just wondering, like, what do we need to replace the tie rods? Probably not. I mean, we don't have to get extended ones. Just the we don't have to get them yet, but like, just to get this thing running and driving properly, we don't need them, <laughs> and we could track on them if need be. Plus, they're easy to do. Anyway. The brake lines are fine. Uh, well, I mean, if we're doing, if we're in there doing brakes anyways, might as well do stainless steel. Uh, the lower control arm's fine, right? I mean, 
I mean, we, I mean, I, I think yeah. the bushings are kerchowed, so I would kind of say, I mean, mine as well. Get bushings. We gotta get the bushings. So we got the entire hub assembly out, the axle out, and the lower control arm. Let me tell you, we had to whack at that thing for a good like 25 minutes before that thing came out. It's good because you see these these red bushings. Those are poly bushings, which are stiffer and stiffen the car up. So we can keep those. We need to put poly bushings on the rest of them. Uh, we're probably gonna take the hub to Napa to get new wheel bearing and you know any other bushings and bearings that need to be replaced. One side of the car is done. I mean, we still got to do the rear, which should be a little bit easier because you don't got an axle and all that crap. But the other side, we got to focus on that another day. So thank you guys for watching this video today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.